Now we're going to do the second of our spring projects, painting tulips in a vase inspired by the French artist Paul Cézanne. Paul Cézanne lived at the end of the 19th and the beginning of the 20th century. He spent a lot of time painting still life pictures, mostly of fruit, and there's even fruit on the bottom of this picture, but he sometimes painted flowers. He spent a long time getting his arrangements absolutely right and making sure that they were perfect. So we're going to have a go at doing that today. So, I'm going to start by painting the vase that the flowers, the tulips are going to be in. So on this painting, it's a vase that's shaped like that. You can do a vase like that, or you can do a different type of vase. I'm going to have a go at doing a vase like that. The vase comes up to about halfway up the picture. So I'm going to do a slightly curved line there. And then I'm going to bring this down with another curved line and this down with another curved line and then do a bit on the bottom. As you can see, my vase is not perfect, but I don't mind, it's fine. It looks quite nice. I'll just even that edge off. And then I'm going to use some white oil pastel to just um, put some light on the edge of the vase so that when we paint it, it shows up. On Paul Cezanne's picture, he's got white here. So just a few little, so it just looks like white light is catching on the vase. And then we're going to draw the table line. So to do the table line, you start at one end, get to your vase, jump across and go to the other side. Now it's time to do the tulips. So you can use um, coloured oil pastels to do your tulips. Um, I'm going to use um, this pink. And to do the tulips, you just need to start with a U shape. Now we want to have like five or six tulips in our in our um, vase. So we're going to space them out and leave room around each one. Maybe that one there slightly higher. And one there, and then one over to this edge that's sort of falling out. Now you might want to have a practice how to draw a tulip. Tulip is a strange flower to draw. It's not like you imagine most flowers to be. If you look here, if I outline this, you can see you've got this basic shape here. Then you've got a bit that comes around there and we'll kind of go with that and a bit that comes around there and then two little bits in the middle so that's the basic idea of the tulip so we've already got our oval um so our u shape um but in so inside of that we're going to come up And do that part and then this part here is those bits there and then a bit more here and a bit more there so I'm going to carry on um, drawing my tulips now that I've drawn the tulips I'm going to draw the stems the stems on tulips slightly curved come around like that my tulips are going into the vase so that one's in the vase but slightly coming out that stem would come down there you notice that I'm doing two lines for the stems in fact I'm going to use um, the dark green one you might see it better and tulip leaves are you would start with a slightly curved line like this and then go like that And make sure all your tulips have got a stem. I'm also going to do a couple of leaves over, hanging over the edge of the pot. 
Okay, now that I've drawn my tulips and I've drawn the, um, the leaves, I'm going to paint using liquid watercolours. So remember with the liquid watercolours we have to be careful of the yellow because the yellow gets easily contaminated. So if you're going to use yellow, just use the yellow first. So on this one, as you can see, there's like yellow, but there's also some pinks. So often tulips are like this, they have more than one colour. And the Cezanne's tulips have got more than one colour on. So I'm going to put some yellow on the tulips. And because I've got my blue wash underneath, it does take on a slightly different colour, but it still looks nice. And then I might add in some pinks and use a little water, let them blend in together. Now that I'm happy with my tulips, I'm going to paint the leaves. Now you'll notice that I've actually painted some yellow on some of the leaves. That's so that they're not all exactly the same green. And then I'm going to use the green paint to go over it. So now the tulips are finished and I've made sure that I painted inside um, the stalks and the leaves and I'm really quite happy with the way that they look. I'm going to do the vase. Now in Paul Cezanne's picture, it, the vase has got two colours so you can decide if you want two colours on your vase or one. I think I'm going to make my vase um, two colours. So I'm going to use a slightly thicker brush. And I'm going to go with um, yellow and pink because I think that will highlight the colours that I've got in the tulips. So hopefully as I paint over where we put the white lines, they will show through as watch resist. Don't get the really bright yellow because of the um, blue watercolour wash. The yellow is just a little bit more subdued. Still looks nice. I'm not going to draw a line in between the two different colours as on Suzanne's picture. He hasn't done the line on his. And I'm going to do pink for the bottom section. I've finished painting the vase and I've also painted a slight shadow at the bottom. Um, we don't have a brown liquid watercolour, so I've used this brown watercolour and I've put a shadow here. So it looks like the vase is casting a shadow. And then I've used some of this green paint to just add a little bit of interest to the table and make it different. on the top, thinking about the way Cezanne has put a compressionistic type colours on here. It's got quite a bit of yellow on there as well. I use some of the bit of liquid watercolour I've got left to do that. And that's my tulips in a vase inspired by Paul Cezanne.